Well, had a good night's rest here at the shelter. We're just now heading out this morning. Seven-ish or so, I'm thinking. Didn't even look, to be honest with you. Should double check, make sure. Didn't leave anything out. Back here and see the shelter. So, 10 days ahead of us, or 10 days, 10 miles ahead of us. The next shelter, maybe plus 11. See if we can get that knocked out early this today. It's shelter and get out of the heat for a little while. Maybe have an easy day today. The past two days have been pretty rough from down some of those trails, but it is what it is. So let me shut this off and turn it around. This is actually the Black Fork Mountain Trail. Which it wise off right there to the right goes to the shelter and goes on up the hill. This be one I had to come back and hike. A, a lot of people look like they hike up in the evening time to the shelter and then hit strike out early and go on out to the point and camp, mountain top. So it's kind of partly a road with lots of ankle breaking rocks in it kind of pay attention where i'm putting my feet at the moment so got water down here in three quarters mile got two liters on me but i think i'm gonna go ahead and suck it up and carry another two liters just in case of course, I'm here and it's been pretty dry across through here. Then my next section's I gotta go across. So, we will see. How the day progresses. I'm gonna do my best to get across here. Try to get out of the heat of the day. We'll see how it pans out. Well, this is seven tenths of a mile down from the Black Fork Shelter, Black Fork Mountain Shelter. There's like a tributary running into another stream. You can see the county road you cross up there. There's another stream running in there. So, say between these two, it's probably reliable water here. So that's seven tenths down from the shelter. You get to the shelter and you're completely out of water this be your option to walk down to get water it doesn't sound too good but if you're out of water you're out of water but anyway looks like it's pretty reliable Make some of the neat rock formations here along the trail that we're just kind of skirting as we climb back up of course as always when you cross the road that means you get to climb. I'm going to give you guys a little look at the trail in here. As we're just cruising along. Nice, easy on the feet. Not as many as rocks as it's been. So, maybe today won't be near as punishing on the old feet. Shaking the camera so bad. Your Sasquatch are calling. There were no hound tied up on a chain somewhere. We'll say Sasquatch. That makes for a better story. Yeah, there he goes again. Okay, here we go. Well, right here gets the trail. We are gonna ease by that thing. Get over here. And you guys tell me what's holding that tree up right now. <laughs> Mm 
Hey, the wind's blowing. I'm not standing here much longer. We're gonna move on. You can kind of see it through there now. It's not leaning against nothing. <laughs> Who knows? It's a nice little open area. About a mile and a half from the road probably now. Just been walking along here. The trail's real nice right in this area. Pine needles, not too many rocks. Just got through coming up that pool in there. That wasn't too bad of a grade, is easy coming up. Didn't completely kill you. Looks like this might have been an old fire road at one time. It's nice and wide up through here. So, still a moving. Well, here's a good campsite. Man, feel that breeze. You, well, you can't feel it, but I can feel it. It feels good on this little sweaty body of mine. Beautiful spot up here. 62.3 is what uh, some of the trail guide stuff I remember reading. Uh, good campsite. No water, of course, so you're going to have to pack your water in when you come in here. But it'd be a good place to park down there by the road and hike up for the weekend and relax. And I wouldn't mind carrying a few extra things up here just to sit in the woods and relax. Onward we move. Small marker 69 is a goal, and we'll see how we feel whether we go any farther past that. So I'm thinking get up and put in 10 miles early as you can and get off the trail when the heat is really on and call that good enough for hiking. Look at the, look at the knots on that tree. But there's reasons why I don't make good mileage every day. I want to enjoy what I'm seeing. There you go. Little mountains, small mountain trickle. It is cold, so it's got to be a spring, spring fed in there. Don't know the way it stays. Probably doesn't stay year round. But as of right now, there's a good water source. Good and cold. Life giving water right there. There's a nice campsite. Not sure of the mileage. Place you can put a couple of tents up in there pretty easy. So I could get used quite a bit. Not sure. Typically when you see these types of campsites that they're not too far from the road, but I'm not sure where I'm at on the road, but it's been walking. Not thinking about a whole lot, just about hiking in general and why I hike and days like day when it's hot to still enjoy it. I'm definitely going to wait till the fall to try to finish this trail up wherever I get to and get off at here, but I'm still shooting for big brushy. Don't know if that's going to pan out or not. May get off here at Forum, Forum Gap. Go back around. We'll see. I haven't come across any water in the past two or three miles, so I think that's ridge walking all the way between Forum Gap and over to the, that spring. I can't think of the name of it now. 
So. All right. Here we go. Here, I finally got a view. You can see a pretty good fire burning in the background. So it might be burning a brush pile or something. Hopefully. It's all white. So I assume it's a wood burning, not someone's house. I.e. shingles and all that stuff without black smoke. Well, the guide said it's possible waterfall. It's got water and it's falling, so that's a waterfall. Maybe with a little rain, it would be pretty right in there. Waterfall. This is right before the Forum Gap. You cross over the highway at. Uh, a nice little stream running here. Soaking the dogs in there. Thought about getting the body off over in that hole of water. It is nice and cold. So if you're coming this way, I don't know how long the water stays running through here, but it hadn't rained in a couple of weeks over here, as far as I know. So, there's water here. The mountain stream there full of crawdads. The one that's back in the rock, there's one out. There's one over here, you can see right about. There's this pincher sticking out from under the rocks. He's out waiting for some dinner to come floating down the stream. I still enjoy even today. I've done it as a kid. It would be wade these little, trying to get out there and wade these little streams and turn over rocks and see what's under there. Sometimes you found a snake, but that's all part of the excitement. <laughs>